So the little queefers, MIA, of course he is. After my gaming stream, right, with drama, and I was, it was lit, lit chat, fun chat, drama. I didn't ban the word Darius Truxton like that cuck did, Queefy Boy, banning the word Slotham. I didn't do any of that. After that stream, Queefy Boy has been MIA. Why? Because he sucks, okay? He's a loser in his real life. He's a failure. 24-7, 365, Queefy Boy is a failure in life. Why? May I remind everybody, he's in his mid-40s and can't drive a car. Never did drive a car, actually. And the bumper cars at CNE don't count, you prick. I'm talking about a real car, Kiwifi boy. Sitting at the back of a patrol car of a police trooper. If I don't upload a video in 48 hours, something's wrong. Trooper doesn't count, idiot. I'm talking about behind the steering wheel, dummy. Sitting in the passenger seat giving a BJ to the John that you're driving with doesn't count, idiot. I'm talking about you're the ones switching the gear shift. And not about his doodle, dummy. Yeah, that's Darius Truxton. 40s, can't drive a car, in a dirty, disgusting, dingy apartment. That smells like cat piss and cat feces. We all know that. His two cats friggin' passed away because of the living conditions that this piece of trash friggin' provides them. Garbage. The HVAC system in Smell Manor is all screwed up because this guy can't clean his stupid little vent in six years. To the point where he was so embarrassed and so triggered by me burying him that in his freaking little garbage table rants that he did, those the last two or three, where he has no energy because it's been sucked out of him, right? I took his soul like Shang Tsung Fatality. fatality. After that, he started taking the friggin' vent out of the camera shot from his stupid little banana yellow switch that he shoves up his behind while he's sitting on his premium futon covered in cat piss and friggin' Prince of Fallen's turds. The <laughs> I'll never look at another girl like that. That freaking idiot. I can't believe Prince of Fallen, aka Prince of Diapers, thinks it's okay to be in your mid-twenties wearing a onesie with a goddamn adult crinkles tiger diaper. I can't believe it. This is what we've come to. And who's the one that accepted it? Darius Truxton. Because he has no friends in real life. No one likes him. You guys remember that rant? Look into my eyes, queefy boy of Gray's Road. Remember that one? Alpha Nerd, the legend, has explained that Darius Truxton has no friends and never had a girlfriend. And that's a fact. That is 100% fact. Queefy Boy is putting up, pulling, pulling out this false narrative online that he has this imaginary girlfriend with two kids, single mom, that just got divorced selling her house. Why the hell would you guys think that she's going to take time out of her day to visit Smell Manor 2772 in her own car and then walk into a cat piss smelling apartment to have a TV dinner at nighttime. Are you kidding me? No girl wants a microwave dinner like Darius Truxton's friggin' daily meal plan is. The guy can't even afford fresh vegetables and fresh food. He has to go to the friggin' frozen aisle and get <laughs> the most bargain bin discount $2 uh, a friggin' TV dinner, fake food, fake meat, fake macaroni and cheese, and fake mashed potatoes. And, and, and we find out, realize that, um, I saw a comment yesterday from Blue Dragon that says, Queefy Boy is warming up to the diaper idea, and now he can friggin' stream without moving at all. That's true. That's what he's doing. That's why he's so attracted and sexually attracted to Prince of Fallen. Darius Truxton and Prince of Fallen are going to be your next friggin' in-the-closet couple. And then you got, they're going to have Cyan Radisol, some genetic freak with a chin like Buzz Lightyear, extremely jealous. Because we all know Cyan is also in love with friggin' uh, uh, Darius Truxton. Walking around with his premium vest. Cyan put up some stupid little rant yesterday. Hey, Cyan, no one cares. Your little seven, seven, six to seven views, they're all friggin' Albert Menencuck's alt accounts. The same guy that you friggin' bent over in his blue tent in the Florida Everglades when he went over there with your stupid little ThetaCon and your premium vest. You don't have a house. You live at home with mommy best in your mommy's doctor's coat hey albert menendez how does it feel how does it feel how does it feel to get buried how does it feel every day that i can make these videos off the cuff off the top of my head hit record and you on the other hand uh, albert menendez sleep on a cement pillow outside a home depot stealing wi-fi and stealing electricity to charge your stupid phone idiot you want to talk about bills? You have no bills. You're homeless, Albert. You have no bills. 
Okay, you work under the table, so you can't pay, so you don't have to pay child support. Don't worry about it. There's another man called Eric Freeman who's actually taking care of the kids and wife. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Shut up. All right. Take your stupid little five foot two shrimp bald head. Take your stupid shirt out, your Freddy Krueger shirt that you haven't cleaned in a week. All right. You, you, I, I guess the, I guess the public washroom at Walgreens, there's a lock to it now, right? Because they know some hobo walking around with a hammer and talking into a phone is friggin' exploiting their services. You're supposed to be use that to friggin' drop a turd. You instead are using it, using the toilet to wash your Freddy Krueger shirt with a hobo stick going in circles. And then you use the friggin' fruit you are off your fucking pranks in real life. In public, uh, the, uh, the, the, the public washroom sink at Walgreens to take a shower, Albert. We know that because the friggin' swamp, wa the swamp water in Florida Everglades is a bit too dirty, isn't it? You make me friggin' sick. You're boxing raccoons for that last piece of blueberry muffin to stuff your friggin' stomach. Your best day in your life, Albert Menendez, the best day in the last three years was when Cyan Radio Cell came over and fed you a full gourmet burger with fries. We can see you on video scarfing it down like it's your last meal on death row. Then after that, you put on your lipstick and you freaking bent over in the blue tent. Idiot. Who else we got? Then, okay, then we got Donald Reed. We got D. Reed. This ain't real live, now. This ain't real life, dog. D. Reed, eh? The one who says he doesn't, he doesn't watch the drama, he doesn't know about the drama, but every time he comes back, he knows all the friggin' lingo. He knows all the friggin' terms and lingo and all this crap. D. Reed, who, what are you kidding? You're watching all of it, all right? Your bald, yellow peanut M&M cue ball head is addicted to the friggin' drama. You know what else you were addicted to, Donald Reed? Bending over for Darius Truxton, because you just couldn't wait. You couldn't wait for Queefy Boy to lose another channel so you can bend over and toss him another verified phone number. You were, you was his number one cuck, weren't you? And then guess who replaced your number? There's two, over two pounds of cheese. Number one cuck position, Sean Murray. Some fat, cupcake-eating lard piece of garbage lying on his hospital bed, crying on Twitter because he missed his insulin shot and he almost self-deleted himself. Good, I hope you did, Sean Murray, because you're a waste of space. You're a waste of fat and you're taking up my oxygen that I want to breathe on planet Earth with your friggin' little pig snout. Hey, Sean Murray, your wife looks like the female crypt keeper, all right? Looks like a catcher's mitt. Looks like she's a thousand years old. Looks like you completely sucked the life out of her, just like the Mako energy in Final Fantasy, 11, uh, Final Fantasy VII. What did you do, Sean Murray, to trick that poor woman into marrying you? What Christian online dating site did you put a false friggin' profile in Catfisher? She was clearly in it just to friggin' take your friggin' parents' uh, money. And now she looks like the Crypt Keeper with decaying teeth, all decrepit laying there in bed like her own friggin' slob, while you, like a fat idiot, is friggin' laying in your hospital bed, uh, simping to Twitter girls, saying, oh, I will buy you coffee. Oh, good morning, beautiful. And then you're- You little piece of shit, scrawny pussy. You're friggin', you're, you're bragging online in your community post, Sean Murray, that you friggin' have the nurses playing games with you. Wow, you're such a cuck. Wow. You're a pathetic human being and your dad's fat too. Put down the Oreo box and do some goddamn bicep curls, idiot. And then this whole collab situation. Okay, let me tell you guys, right? This is my opinion on the whole King of All Buttocks situations, all right? Listen up, okay? King of All Buttocks knew. Hey, first of all, it was a setup, okay? It was number one, a setup. King of All Buttocks knew when he was talking to CPE that Dean was backstage. That was the whole point of the setup. King of All Buttocks always checks who's backstage to see who wants to come on the panel. Always. King of All Buttocks knew Dean was backstage and Dean was freaking recording the whole conversation. It was a setup, CPE. CPE, you got set up by King of All Buttocks and Dean. That was your plan. And then, wow, coincidentally, right after King of All Buttocks deletes his channel. Wow, what a coincidence. So obvious. You got Dean some neckbeard, failed YouTuber with 56k subscriber channel, can't even break 30 views per video, killing the guy, Dean, yesterday. Shake your f***ing head. Give your head a shake. He was live, uh, was on a panel with Rabbit Dude and freaking Carl for like four hours. 
Some short bus autistic pricks, rabbit dude. Hey, rabbit dude, you're a slow loser, all right? You're the biggest piece of trash I've ever seen. Your real dad thinks you're a failure. Your stepdad who's humping your mom thinks you're a failure. Your mom feels sorry for you because you're a short bus autistic prick with no friggin' job, no car, no life, and no girlfriend. You have a stupid Eminem haircut. You're ugly. Your head is deformed. You have stupid drawings that, I put, that you put on your wall and then you got framed by mommy. You're begging your step dad to buy you a nintendo game because you have no money you constantly say on a friggin stream that you have stuff to do when you don't instead of you're friggin whacking off to cyan raider cell and buckeye bunny you started crying when you lost your wrench to buckeye bunny because you're an idiot what are you gonna do about it rabbit dude nothing all right you're a short bus idiot and you're gonna listen to this rant from start to finish and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet